This is the Semiconductor Industry Association reports that global semi sales are poised to hit a record high this year of $553 billion. While traditional semiconductors, microchips, have been made using silicon materials, chipmaker Navitas says gallium nitride is the silicon of the future. Investors think Navitas might be right. The stock is up 41% since it went public via SPAC just two months ago. Navitas CEO and co-founder Gene Sheridan joins us now in a Fox Business exclusive. First, Gene, I, I got to ask you, what do you make of the Stellantis and Foxconn news? Well, it is an interesting challenge and a big development. Um, I think it speaks to the really the shortage is not going away anytime quickly, and that's why we like gallium nitride, which um, you can produce five times more chips from a, a silicon factory when you switch to GAN. So that really opens the doors to a significant um, relaxation of a lot of the uh, supply chain challenges for the industry. Now, specifically, what you guys do involves the power chips. The, for items, everyone from Dell computers to, you know, we could put up your partners here. You make the things that help power electronics, correct? So it's not necessarily a traditional chip. Does gallium nitride work for the future traditional chips out there? Well, it, it actually is already popular in uh, optoelectronics, which is display technology. It's already popular for wireless data, like 5G base stations. We're now bringing gallium nitride, as you say, to the, to the broader market of power chips, which is actually a 20 to $30 billion market. Power is everywhere. Everybody needs power, whether you're fast charging your phone or powering a data center or even getting power from the sun in solar panels. So it's a huge market opportunity for GAN. Let's talk about gallium nitride over silicon. We were joking earlier, gallium nitride valley doesn't exactly have the same ring as Silicon Valley, but you believe that it really is that element of the future. Tell us about it and where do you source it? Because our research shows that the biggest sourcing comes out of China and we know that the Biden administration has just said we've got a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympics. And, you know, there are some questions as to what happens next between the, uh, you know, whether it's the international trade relations or just diplomatic relations between the two countries. Yeah, it's a pretty fascinating story. Gallium is actually a naturally produced byproduct when you make other metals like aluminum. So it's actually produced all around the world. Anybody who's making metal, which is not just China, it's all over the place. And for decades, nobody had a purpose for it. It was only maybe two decades ago, people realized this gallium material that's so plentifully and low cost availability can be got, combined with nitrogen in the air that we breathe. And when you put these two things together, it forms a really powerful bond, 10 times more powerful than a silicon chip, two times faster electron mobility. All of that means we can make a really powerful chip in a tiny size, very fast, very efficient, very small. Small, and when you realize the whole world is moving from fossil fuels to electrical energy, GAN chips can make electrical energy faster, more efficient, cheaper, more reliable, lower cost. A lot of good things come from this material that's around the world that had no purpose for decades, and now, it, now it's got a very big purpose and a very big future. Well, I would imagine you're striking partnerships right and left because chip companies are always looking to lower their costs and increase their margins. Uh, tell me about the opportunities you see out there beyond the spaces that you're already in. It really is vast because, as I say, every, everything needs power. If you look at the power grid around the world, it's actually delivering high voltage AC power. That's the opposite form of what all electronics need. They need low voltage DC. So the grid is actually unusable in its current form. We convert that from high voltage AC to low voltage DC. Everybody needs that, whether it's fast charging your phone, powering a data center, or fast charging your electric vehicle or even converting solar power from low voltage DC panels back to high voltage AC to power your home or power your car. So it really is broad and vast, and that's part of our challenge, where to focus. We cho chose to focus on mobile charging first. That market's taking off very, very quickly, fueling all of our short-term growth. But we created the IPO to create capital to expand the technology into these bigger markets, these higher power markets. So we're going after data center, solar, elect uh, solar uh, renewable energy, and electric vehicles are a few. But after that, there's a long list of possibilities because everybody needs power. And we're eventually we're going to address that entire 20 to $30 billion TAM 
that's growing even higher as we move from fossil fuels to electrical energy over, over the next two or three decades. Well, it's a fascinating story, development. Novitas is the stock. I know your revenues in the most recent uh, earnings report were up 60% year over year. We'll be watching it. And, and I want a key to the city of Gallium Nitride Valley. Because that may <laughs> actually, happen. It, <laughs> that we're actually calling it their Silicon Valley. We're not going to steal that name. We're actually in the beaches of L.A., so we call it Gan Beach. I think it's got a little bit catchy. Right too. there. Uh, I, right there. Okay, I'm there. I, get me the T-shirt. Gene Sheridan of Navitas. Thank you so much.